Honestly, what he wants to say that you don't—he don't want y'all to know—is he thought it was called ground control to Major Tom. Oh, oh, there was a point in time where I absolutely thought it was called ground control, control to, to Major, Major Tom. Tom. Yes. <laughs> They say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash I'm sitting there thinking like who knew I know that you've seen us on rappers react They talking about us on YouTube Hollywood 6 it look like I do magic Maybe he's practicing voodoo I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention Well I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish I'm What's going on everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React Smoke Yeah Giggity Yeah Dog What up? Got some cherry for you. What you got? Okay. Who played the lead in the movie The Mask? Oh, Jim Carrey. Correct. You were correct. Okay, let's see. Let me give you another. Uh, okay, how about this? What British TV character was nearly named Mr. Cauliflower? Mr. Cauliflower. I have no clue. Come on, just give me a British TV back in the day. British? Come on. I feel like if you give me enough old school British, I feel like you can give it to me. Hmm. I, I can't even think of any old school British sitcoms right offhand. Uh, as soon as I say it, you're going to be upset because you're going to know it. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah, so it was a very popular one, huh? Mm hmm. What does it start with? I mean, technically, M. <laughs> okay. No clue. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean, really? Yes. He was going to be named Mr. Cauliflower? <laughs> Mr. Ca <laughs> I love Mr. Bean, dude. Yeah. All right, how about this? Who played the role of the U.S. president in the movie Deep Impact? Oh, was that not... Um... This is one of the oldest people on Earth. Yeah, Morgan Freeman. That's all I had to say. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> Flat Earth people don't believe in space. Oh, is this uh, Space Odyssey? Um, space Ground Control to Major Tom? Uh, no, you had it right. You, you, space, you said Space Odyssey, but. Yeah. Space Oddity? You got it, my friend! <laughs> guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. Have a good sight! Leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. It comes directly from you! Right down in the comment section. And today, this is absolutely the final contestant in the first round of the tournament to crown the best frontman or woman of all time. I'm gonna say this until this competition is over. Yeah. I'm so lucky to have this guy here because <laughs> I could not remember that. I could not. Crazy. Uh, I mean, I've wanted to end it prematurely several times, but this is a giant tournament hey the trash talkers have asked for it, man absolutely we had to get all of them in there not a piece of them nope all of them not a quarter every dang glass one of them what about a half of them no no we didn't we didn't stop at half that's for dang sure we had to do all of all them. of them yeah listen bro i am a fan there's okay in this competition i don't hate me smoking but there are two people in this competition that i'm like I love Stevie Nicks. Yeah. This is the battle. Obvious, yeah. <laughs> yes, this is the battle of front men, front women. I love Stevie Nicks, Smokey. Yeah. And I promise you, I'm not trying to sway the votes. But God dang it, I love David Bowie, dude. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as long as the people keep in their mind yeah. that it's who you like, not who we like. Exactly. Then it'll be fair. Give them the. Give them the. It, it, the the rules of the competition. Yeah, you're gonna vote on these. Characters. Characters. All right. <laughs> These front men and women is who you're going to be voting on. And you're going to do that by putting a thumbs up on this video. If you think David Bowie has an overall better body of work as a front man, you're going to put a thumbs up on this video. Then Jonathan Davis. I didn't say that. But, however, in this con this matchup right here, if you think Jonathan Davis has an overall better body of work as a front man, then you're going to go back to that video that came out earlier today and put a thumbs up on that video. And whoever has the most thumbs up at the end of seven days will move on to the next round of the tournament. Now, you know this song, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I you know what? 
I had heard the song, you know, um, Ground Control to Major Tom. I don't think I realized that it was called Space Odyssey. Yeah. Oh, you thought it was I called... thought it was Space Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> I know you th- what he, honestly what he wants to say that you don't he don't want y'all to know is he thought it was called Ground Control to Major Tom. Oh, oh, there was a point in time where I absolutely thought it was called Ground Control, Control to Major, Major Tom. Tom. Yes. Bro, listen to me. When I bef- if this is why rappers react is such a, a good thing for not only me and I'm sure Smokey feels the same way, but when we started okay, when I diverged from hip hop because that's all I listened to. Hip hop, R and B, and maybe like a few like slow jams, you know, like stuff like that. But once I diverged from hip hop rap and R and B, yeah. it became Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd was the yeah. first to take me out of that genre. Mm-hmm. This song right here this was the second. Really? Dude, that ground control to the major tone. Because yeah. I like that slow chill. Yeah. And it, it's it's literally him talking him talking about being on a foreign planet or a moon or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, I'm here. But what I've what one thing about this song that I've never quite or never grasped really is why is he having the conversation with Major Tom? He's I'm, in Houston. What do you mean? That's the the central location for well, and if we're considering this as NASA, it would be Houston. You know, Houston, we have a problem. Well, they also leave from Cape Cod, Florida. Is this yeah, Florida? yeah. But does all Mission Control uh, go through Houston? Good question. The question. Good question. I don't know, but like even if you launch from Florida. You could still be oh, talking to, to the base in Houston. Good job. Yeah. Good point. Or good, I said good job. Good <laughs> Thank you. I did it. <laughs> you, God dang it, you did it, small dog. No, but good point. But no, I've always wondered that about this song. It's like, yes, you landed. You, you left Earth. Yeah. You landed. Yeah. You walked on this planet. Yeah. And now there's a problem. Yeah. But I've always wondered, like, who's the problem and who are you reporting to? Is Major Tom in Florida? Is Major Tom in (laughs) Houston? And what's the problem? You know, it's been so long since I've heard it. I don't know if he actually makes all that clear or not. I'm sorry. Not not where they're from, but uh, I want to say the story is where he doesn't want to come back home. Wow. So you're thinking he wants to stay on this other planet? I'm thinking. I mean, it's been so long since I've heard it. I'm hoping I'm right. But I think it's that he didn't want to come back home, right? Can I mean, this will all be answered for us in a few minutes. But... Smoke out! What I... Let's get into it. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Dude, I've wanted to sample this song. That's an actual rocket launch. Live performance. Yeah. All of our contests are live. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Ground control to me, the top. Just the way he says it. Ground control to me, the top. Look at that outfit. Smokey's right. <laughs> Can we just sit here and acknowledge that David Bowie's up there looking like the Joker in 1960s? Oh, uh, Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, David Bowie was a legend, He was bro. a legend. We got to run this back. Ground control to major time. Take your protein belts and put your helmet on. Yo, I gotta sing with this one, I'm sorry. Ground control to me to talk. Look at this, he's like a power ranger. Countdown engines on. This is one of my favorite songs. Epic mission. And may God's love be with you.
it can. things that we said in the beginning now uh doesn't mention that he was on a planet a different planet just that he was traveling through space yes and i think we said it backwards in the beginning we we said we that said that he major, was major tom, tom was yeah well he is major tom this is yes and he's reporting yes, to ground control i think we said something about ground control being major tom yeah. or whatever but yeah other than that dude there is a lot of things just listening to that like that it could be metaphorically speaking yeah, you're right. rather than just an actual song about a space trip trip yeah, yeah. you know again this is a song that I, if i have to be honest i prefer the studio version over the live version but I, I i appreciate the live version to see you know him out there like listen this is a song that i created and i'm going to show you guys how well i can do it but on a live sense. Mm -hmm. But I guess me being used to the studio version, it's like, you know, this yeah. is ground control to major town. Like that right there, I love. Yeah. But when you said, okay, I said him being on a planet and not being able, or not necessarily, okay, I want to take it back just a little bit. When I, now that I've heard this again, sitting down with you, analyzing it, it sounds like he's going to a planet. Or and he doesn't just the want... trip. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be to a planet. He well, could he's... just be orbiting Earth. Oh, well, he's... This is... Didn't he say something about being on the moon? He's... He says... I need to bring up the lyrics. W w where I'm going here is I think he doesn't want to come back to Earth. Yeah. It's like... Yeah, that's what I was saying in the beginning. That I thought that's what the story was, is that he got out there and he's like, at this point now that I've seen out of the earth, I don't really want to come, come back. back now. I mean, he said they okay. Well, they want to know whose shirt you're wearing. Tell my wife I love her very much. Yeah. She knows. Yeah, because he's not coming back at this point, dude. I Where's know. Where's the line about the moon? Huh? 
I know we made a prediction that we thought that. Yeah, he just said far above the moon. So it doesn't actually say that he landed on the planet. No, not not that I'm seeing in the lyrics. Either way, dude, you could take this so many ways, Smoke. Here I am floating around in my tin can far above the moon. Floating planet Earth is can. blue and there's nothing I can do. Nothing. Oh, like it. man, that, uh -oh. that's another possibility. The planet Earth is blue. Like, it's a dismal pit of depression down there. I'm away from that now. Why would I come back? Ooh. Ooh. Hey, You're saying, like, hey, you got the blues. You're down. Yeah. He said the Earth is blue. I can see how blue the Earth is from up here. Okay, I'm going to take you another one. That's We've already yeah. touched on two ways it could be something yeah. different. You ready for yeah. a third one? Yeah. It could be about drugs. Uh, Yeah, it could be. Ground. I'm be, I'm going to the moon. He's like, yep. Yeah, I'm so high, and I could possibly die. I think I'm gonna die because I got way too high. There's one more though. Also, you got a fourth one? I do. I do. Think about uh, Rocket Man by Elton John. Okay. He's like, you know, I'm out here. I, I've gotten away from my home. I'm out here. I'm I'm the Rocket Man now. I I can't go back to them as the man i'm not he's, the man they remember they're i'm not the man. so this could be about his career also as a and musician music, yeah or a... like i took off I, i'm off now i'm i'm not the the guy that they knew at home you know my my career took off on the spaceship and now that i'm out here i don't want to go back home you don't want to be back with what he used yeah. to be yeah. damn that's four possibilities we came up with this yeah. about now again this being a competition with the four possibilities of what this song is going to be about, you guys are going to have to let us know. Mm -hmm. Are we? We gave you four options. So <laughs> yeah. We have to be right in one of these. <laughs> yeah, one of them has to be right. One right? of them. Unless there's something we're missing here. Dude, I never thought of that. I always thought this was just about him being in a. He's the person leaving Earth. Yeah, and, yeah. On the surface, it's just a story about an astronaut. But there could be some hitting meanings in there. Trash talkers, please let us know. Mm -hmm. Give them the... Give them the... Yeah, so uh, what we are doing here today is actually that this is a competition for the greatest frontman or woman of all time. So if you think David Bowie himself is a better frontman overall throughout his entire career than Jonathan Davis, you're going to put a thumbs up on this video. If you think Jonathan Davis throughout his entire career was an overall better frontman than David Bowie, you're going to go back to that video and put a thumbs up on that one. And whoever has the most thumbs up at the end of seven days will move on to the next round of the tournament. Absolutely. And guys, let us know what's next by David Boy down in the comment section. And with that being said, my name is Marriage Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry Smoggy Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we covered, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.